Never mind. Well, hello. Welcome to Philobot Live. Today we're going to be talking about kind of what goes on inside an extruder. And uh, we're going to go over one of our filament measure devices. And uh, Tyler's going to talk about some pellets. So uh, I'm Kevin. I do a lot of the engineering here. Um, but I'm also the cameraman. So I'm going to be, this is going to be a narration. All right, we got the XX. We're extruding some red PLA. Josh mixed up, and uh, we're going to take the nozzle out and slide the screw out without cleaning the system. And what you'll see is uh, the pellets on the screw, and we'll talk about um, where they melt and how they melt and kind of what's happening. So an extrusion screw basically just takes the unmelted pellets and kind of crushes them together a little bit and heats them up, melts them, and then pushes them out the end of the nozzle here. So go ahead and stop it and take the screw out, Josh, if you want to uh, pour the pellets out of the hopper first. Tyler can help you. Probably going to want to do that first. Tyler, here, close it. Well, we don't want all those pellets in the feed throat when you pull the screw out. Good. I helped. Oh, actually, you want to come over here and hold this? Yeah. Are you going to dump the hole? Yeah. So what we're doing is clearing the pellets out of the hopper here. So when we pull the screw out, a bunch of pellets don't go rolling down into the hot barrel and making a mess. They're so strong. <laughs> Now, yeah, get the nozzle out of there. So what we had there was just some red, red color. It's like what, 2%, 1%, yeah, something 2 like that. 2% and 3870 PLA. And that'll kind of help us show where the pellets are melting and how the colorant's mixing together in the screw. This can be pretty difficult sometimes. You're not supposed to really take the screw out when there's plastic, a ton of plastic in it, but we should be able to get it out. Might be a little tricky. Oh, this guy. Um, if you check out our EX6 video, talk more about cleaning the screw. This is not the way you want to remove your screw from EX6 normally. You want to run the pellets dry and run some purge through there first. But we're doing this to illustrate What's what the plastic looks like on the screw? It's even possible. Yeah, it might be pretty difficult. Yeah, I'm gonna run it a little bit. Yeah, turn it. So, yeah, it's not gonna happen before. One of the reasons this is going to be so difficult is because before, before the pellets get melted um, in the back section of the screw towards where the feed is, they actually get compacted into a solid piece of plastic. And then as they move along the screw, as they get pushed towards the nozzle, they melt and get mixed together. There she comes. Let me grab it. Yeah, it's gonna be, you're gonna have to put a lot of force on it to pull it out. That's all I got. Do your best. Yep. Yeah, you want to hold the hamster. Coming? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Is that hot? It's warm. You can see on the end of the screw there, it's fully mixed. But as you see, as we get it out here, we if we can get it out. Wish we had some brass uh, channel locks. Yeah, the reason we're not using steel on the screw, like steel pliers to pull it out, is because if you damage the surface of the screw, it's going to affect your performance. Pull as fast as you can. <laughs> yeah. There she goes. 
get it to not slip. Okay. I'm excited about putting it back in. Yeah. Oh, you can start to see the color change. Nice. We didn't get very many pellets on there, but we got a few. Yeah, it's hot back there. Hot everywhere. Very hot. Don't touch. So, can we turn it? Well, that's going to be hot. So. That's pretty hot. What do you want? I want to so spin it and see so we can pellets. see these pellets a little bit better. So here we can see some unmelted pellets. And uh, if you'll notice, actually, the color starts to melt first. You can see parts of it back there a little bit. That could be a little bit from pulling the screw out, but uh, right here you can see how the pellets are just beginning to melt. And what you can't see here, because we had to run it a little bit to actually pull the screw out, is these pellets actually get compacted into like a solid ring of, of uh, plastic. And then you can kind of see here where it's Little, little bit clear. It's a little bit cloudy red, kind of, where the where the colorants are beginning to mix in. This is the point where the solid, uh, it's called a bed actually, of pellets, is getting moved along the screw. Um, the friction differentiation between the screw and the uh, inside of the barrel is what moves that bed forward as the screw turns, and uh, the screw gets thicker at the base here on the end compared to the feed here. And that what that does is not only help create some pressure against the walls of the barrel to create that friction that pushes the polymer bed forward, but it also helps to push air backwards out the screw. Because as you can imagine there's air between the pellets that if you extrude try to extrude it at the end you're gonna get little explosions and little pops and stuff. And um, one of the things you change about screw design is how long the feed section is at a constant inner diameter and how how steep the angle is of the compression section which is this middle section where the polymer starts to melt and then how long what this section is which is the metering section where you're mixing a color and creating a constant pressure this is where all the constant pressure comes from at the end of the screw and that's where, how you get consistent filament is how, how long your metering section is. Um, but you can also have other problems where your compression section, the angle and the length of it might not be right for the polymer. Uh, this screw is designed to work with a lot of polymers and you can, you can basically adjust the performance based on the screw speed. It's a pretty, uh, what would you say, um, uh, you know, versatile, oh, versatile screw. Yes. That's the word I was talking about. Like it's a pretty screw. versatile screw. It's the screw that comes with the EX6. Um, so you can basically extrude any 3D printing, pol any polymer you can 3D print with, with the screw by varying the speed and temperature. But uh, yeah, that's basically an overview of what happens inside the extruder. You get your raw pellets, they get compressed together, they start to melt, colorant mixes in, and then they come out the end of the nozzle and you get your filament. So now we're going to talk a little bit about just the new product we introduced in our EX6 video, which is just this little filament micrometer measurement thing. I think we're calling it the filament measure. Yeah, yeah, filament measure. Um, and all it does is uh, it's a little micrometer and there's two bearings on here and you run your filament through it and uh, it measures it as you're spooling it onto your spool, winding it onto your spool. Oh, did you turn this on? Yeah. Sweet. So uh, Josh can take it off and I'll just kind of show you what it looks like a little bit better. Right now it just looks like a piece, piece of spooler. So it just screws into the holes that are already there. Yeah, your spooler comes with a a little guide and this measurement device just screws right into those same holes so any spooler that's this style this uh, this measurement device will bolt onto 
So you just kind of put the filament. Can you take that end piece off? There's these two little tension rollers. And what they do is is uh, provide tension to kind of can you pull this up to to kind of bend the filament. It's hard to see in there, but to kind of bend the filament over that bottom bearing, so that if you've got any any little waves or bumps inside there, you want to try putting um, that filament through. Yeah, stick some filament in there. So kind of industry. Yeah, be feeding in from that side, and then that puts tension on it. Kind of bends it over that bottom bearing a little bit. And, and you can adjust it. with your, your knob. Right. Yeah. Anyway. I'm just short section. Yeah. So that's how that works. Tyler, do you want to yeah, yeah. So, talk uh, about your the new fill measure? In, yeah, the fill measure is in pre-order right now. Um, check it out on our site. And I think you can find it under parts and accessories and also in our hardware. And then I wanted to talk about this new uh, material. It's carbon fiber ABS. Pretty cool stuff. We've had it in the past. We found a new supply for it. Um, it's a much stiffer material. Uh, we tested it today, so we haven't gone through very extensive testing. Um, I think we ran it on the EX6, and it has a 15% carbon fiber mixed into the ABS. And we'll be doing some print testing, and, and possibly have that uh, have a print in the next video. Great. Yes. Yeah. Yay. Well, thanks for watching. Yes, thanks for watching. Uh, that concludes our Philbot Live, short and sweet. Uh, combination of a few different things. We have the EX6 colorant, fill measure, and carbon fiber. Thanks.